there's a lot of different ways you can build arrows and I really love the tinkering process, but I also like things that just work. And for me, the hybrids have always worked. That's why I'm shooting them here. And so now that we've got this group, we're gonna go around the tack veins and see the difference on those. Here's 20 yards with the AE. Now we're gonna shoot the tack veins at 20. All of those were 272, interesting. I wanna show you the setup. So this is not scientific, but at 20, just wanting to see what the speed differences are through the chrono. And so it looks like 272 on all three of those. So now we're gonna move back at 60 and see the differences there. All right guys, so you wanna be careful doing this, but now we're gonna check the speed at 60. These are the AAE hybrids. All right, so you guys, you just saw the, the AAE hybrids at 60 through the chrono. I'm now gonna take the tack veins with the exact same setup. I'm gonna shoot a 60, make sure we're on, and then we're going to go back and use the chrono again. So at 60, I'm not seeing a lot of difference between the tack veins and the hybrid as far as height goes. I'm gonna say it's pretty close but let's get the chrono on there and check the speed to see what's going on. This, here's 60 yards with tack veins. So that's it, shooting the chrono at 60. I'm not a fan of that. I really wanted to see what the downrange speed was with these veins. 252 with the tag veins. Interesting to see that. 